Analysis, Admiral James Tavridis, the former NATO Supreme Allied Commander and author of the book, To Risk It All. Admiral, NATO expanding is the opposite of what Putin was trying to accomplish. Strategically, though, what does it mean for the fighting in Ukraine? Um, this is a very good day for NATO and a very good day for the West and a very good day for Sweden and Finland to come and join the alliance. I mean, let's put this in business terms, Chef. This is CNBC. This is an acquisition. It is a blue chip acquisition. It has very high cash flows. It is uh, two companies, if you will, that are ready to go. They are turnkey operations on security. And they share a long border, which does nothing but complicate Vladimir Putin's security planning. Look, I commanded these troops in Afghanistan. They were part of our NATO forces that went to Afghanistan. They were part of the war over Libya. High tech, super professional, deeply capable, and long history of antipathy to Russia. We want them on the team. Bottom line, great day for NATO. Are you concerned at all, Admiral, that this could lead to increased aggression from the Russians? I'm not, because Putin is in the process of breaking his phalanx, if you will, on Ukraine. Ukrainians have fought him to a standstill, and he's now forced to consolidate all of his troops in this relatively small strip of territory on the southeast corner of Ukraine. He has no capacity to go after Sweden or Finland or Estonia or Latvia or Lithuania. Um, again, Putin has been a clever tactician at times. He is a dumb strategist because he's backed his nation into a strategic corner that's going to be very hard to get out of. Admiral James Stavridis, thanks very much.